It's basically the best thing ever. It's the best engine it ever made. <laughs> <laughs> See, we were talking before this about how if we were to compare engines, people get religious about their own engine. You know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be dangerous. Which is we'll leave that stupid, for the really. comment section to to kill each other in. Oh God, don't <laughs> promote it. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this is um, something. See, I've already fumbled right off the bat. <laughs> I'm here with no, Metabulous. Uh, say hello. hello. He he's a, also a uh, game dev YouTuber. I'm gonna put a link to his channel down below. But uh, we're here to talk about uh, a couple things that we have different between us, specifically our accents. Um, no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, ju just our accent. <laughs> just you our accent. This is game dev. You're you're just ridiculous. <laughs> No, there's, a, there's actually a really big difference between us, and that is that I use Godot, the game engine, and he uses Unity. So I thought it'd be cool to have two devs who use these two game engines talk about their differences a little bit, as subjective as possible, which means probably not very much at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely be editing a lot of this, so um, anything that Metabulous has said, I'll probably just... That I don't remove. like anyway. Yeah, I'll just remove yeah, just things remove that. I'll just 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 have Godot only. Just I'll just cut his voice out for anything I didn't like. Should we do pros first or cons first? Uh, let's start with the positive way. I think. Start with the positives. Okay, let's do some. Pro uh, biggest pro of Godot, I think, is that it's open source. It's very um, available to everybody, and that also mm -hmm. means that if you don't like something about about the game engine if you're smart enough you can go in and and change it and customize it yeah um, i mean that's something that unity doesn't actually do uh you can't go into the engine and actually uh change features of it so yeah and that's the the beauty of godot is it's most of it is made by user input so it's very um right. I don't know, it's, it, in that way it's easy to pick up because so many people have contributed to making it good Unity, uh, it can be used for both 2D and 3D development, and like, obviously that's for a lot of engines, right? But um, they keep all of the users informed on how to do both. They don't really specialize in one, really. They help out both. For example, 2D has their own, like, I guess, in Unity we call them packages. They're like tools, right? Uh, tools to help you out. And like, for example, there's like a sprite editor that you can use for 2D, and then for 3D you might have like, I don't really, I can't really think of it, but because I haven't really worked with 3D enough, but um, they have they have a lot of stuff on both, right? So no user is like left out, I suppose. Biggest con um, for Godot, there's a small user base compared to Unity yeah. anyway. And it's growing, it's definitely getting bigger, but because of that, there's less resources. Um, there's like, in fact, when I first started Godot, they hadn't even completed the official documentation yet. Um, so there's there's a little bit less there. It's a little, and that way it might be a little harder to pick up because there's less tutorials out there compared to Unity. Mm. But mm. Uh, like I said, it is growing, so eventually that won't be a con. There's quite a bad ethos around Unity. Many consumers like associate it with like you know asset flips or bad games. I mean, this isn't as much of a thing now, but I know when I started two to three years ago. Uh, it was quite a big thing back then. A Unity game was quite frowned upon, I suppose. Like, if you use Unity, people are like, oh, you're not putting as much work in, when in fact you're probably putting in more. You have to really work a lot harder with Unity if you work with Unity, I suppose, because you have to make your game stand out from everyone else's. Super intuitive. Like, I, I, I tried Unity for like an hour. Um, mm -hmm. And then someone recommended Godot, so I thought, well, I'll give that a try while I'm still deciding. And because yeah. of how easy it was to pick up, um, I, I ended up going with Godot. And so, <laughs> so that's a that's a thing. It's just really it's really clear cut, very simple, um, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe other people might not think uh -huh. so, but again, this is all very very subjective. It's super easy to port to other platforms. Uh, I'd probably go as far as to say it's easier than any other engine. Very subjective, but you know, like, <laughs> you literally can just press a button and then you can port it over. Obviously you need to like make the systems for the control support and maybe like if you're making a mobile game you need to make it tailored to mobile, but obviously. But you know, with the power of like 
version control and stuff like that, you can easily make different branches for different platforms and work on those. And then you can just, literally you can just press a button, you click it, and then you press switch platform. And then you click build, and then that's all you need to do. Boom. So, <laughs> yeah, boom. Godot uses a unique coding language, so it doesn't use C-sharp. Right. Um, it uses something called GDScript. And this mm -hmm. this is a, kind of a good good thing because it's very integrated into the engine itself, but kind of a bad yeah. thing because you're never going to use it um, in any other program at all. It's very similar to Python though, so it's easy to pick up. And eventually, if they haven't already, eventually they're going to make it possible to just use C Sharp as well. Currently, you'd have to use you learn a different language than you might know right now. Now, this is going to scare off a lot of people. If you want every single feature, like I mean everything, like you can change the colors of Unity and stuff, which is literally not even that cool. Um, it costs $1,500. You wouldn't really need to use this, but if you want to get rid of literally a watermark, then you have to pay around $1,500, I think. Next pro for me would be it's a Godot is a really small program. I, I didn't I should have looked it up beforehand, but it's it's extremely small, which makes it boot up very very quickly. It makes it um, run very smoothly. It's free. <laughs> now I know this goes against what I said just a minute ago, but it is free. I guess Godot already does that, but you know that's a huge positive. Godot currently is not good at 3D. Eventually it will be, I think, in the next big update, which who knows when that's going to come out. It's going to be integrating a whole bunch of new stuff and, and uh, streamline a bunch of things, make it a lot better. But right now, it, it's way better at 2D than it is at 3D. Unity takes a while to load. Like, <laughs> sometimes you can be sitting there for about, you know, four minutes or so. It's a little bit <laughs> heftier. To load. I guess it depends on the size of the project though, right? So like Millions of Minions, for example, which is my main project for those wondering, it probably takes around four and a half minutes. Whoa. Maybe a bit less actually. To be fair, it's got a lot of stuff in there. I think the game's 200, almost 200 megabytes now, so I guess it kind of makes sense. So I picked five categories that we're gonna very subjectively, or uh, non-subjectively, or whatever it is. We we took a poll from thousands of people to get these numbers. A billion. Bill we took billions. a poll from seven billion people seven. on the planet. Because that's how many people use Godot. And no, Unity. <laughs> and Unity. Yeah, no. So there's not, 14 <laughs> billion use people in, on the planet. Yeah, this is these are our subjective numbers, um, just from what we, we feel. So they might not match up necessarily, but this is kind of just... We can kind of give our reasoning behind it, I suppose, and that, that can be your, your real number. Okay, so the first one is overall, for just overall ease of use, I suppose. For Godot, I gave it a 6, um, just mm -hmm. because I feel like game engines are overall more difficult to, to use than most programs. But then at the right, same yeah. time, Godot, in my opinion, is one of the one of the easier engines to pick up, just based on my experience. I say 8 for Unity for when you do get into it. Like, when you're fully into it, then it's it's super easy to navigate and stuff. Like, like getting into it's a lot harder than other engines, but once you're actually in it, like, it's basically fantastic, I suppose. Okay, the next is overall in 2D. I gave it a uh, minus 8. Godot engine is the, the Godot, I should say it right, the Godot engine is really good at uh, uh -huh. at 2D. I said 9 for Unity. Um, now, I'm not sure if that's just because I've just primarily focused on 2D that I think that way, but I do think that it is really good for 2D. I give uh, Godot a 4 for 3D. Um, I, I feel like that's gonna, yeah, that's bad. And, and again, that's based on just things I've read because I haven't done that much in 3D. Uh, I, I said it about, it's hard for me, I'd said a 7 slash 8 because it's sort of in between, but at the same time it's not. <laughs> See, I think like, that... I, I don't think I've worked with 3D enough to really give my input on it. Yeah, I bet, like, I bet if we were two devs that did mostly 3D and have dabbled in 2D, 
these numbers might be swapped, but who knows? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I think I think it's just more towards like what you're used to. For available of resources, I gave Godot a five, um, just because mm -hmm. it is kind of lacking in that department. Just because I've gone to try to figure out something in Godot and there's no videos on it. All there is is some documentation on it, and that's that's really hard to read sometimes. I much prefer yeah. a nice tutorial from someone who's figured it out. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so there's a little bit less resources on it, but that's constantly becoming a, a thing of the past because more and more people are making tutorials and there's more people working on that than, than ever before. Eight for Unity because obviously it's been around for so long and there are like tons and tons and tons of like Stack Overflow and Unity forums. And I think the availability of learning resources is definitely very high up there for Unity because it's just been around for so long. And then last one is the easiness. Intra introductivity. Yeah, whatever. The, the ability for... Friendliness to someone brand new. Yeah, for, that's the, the... Is that how I phrased it originally? I guess, yeah, I guess we could call it accessibility, right? Accessibility. And this is this means to someone who has never even coded before. For Godot, I give it a... I give it a seven, just That's, because I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite easy to drop in, right? Yeah, just yeah, throw, I mean, a, throw a number down. <laughs> I gave mine a four. Um, I would have given it higher, but I had to take into account that Unity wasn't the first thing I programmed in. So I was like, okay, I'll just take one point off of what I already said. Um, if you have programmed, it's probably like five or six. So you know. Obviously, if someone brand new comes onto either engine and they never read or watch anything, they're gonna have a hard time for yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. You have to give a lot of effort in to like dedicating yourself to learning new things about the engine. Um, that's it the only way to improve. Takes time. Takes a lot of time. Based on the information that we've given you in this video, hopefully you'll be able to take a look at both and decide. My recommendation is to download both of them and try them both out for a little while. Um, give, them, give them time to, you know, because some of them might be hard right off the bat. But give them I'd a say bit give of time. a week for both. But also, don't be scared to like change engines. Um, like, don't feel guilty that you're changing engines because you don't like a certain one. Changing you know, engines it's... is not as life changing as like changing a religion. So don't feel that yeah. way about it. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our Tindy, but you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. I invited Metabulous over for this video, and go mm -hmm. check him out too. He's a really great developer. Even if you decide or work in Godot, he's still got some really great stuff to, <laughs> to watch and, and, and check yeah. out. So. And maybe I'll do a video on me trying to do Godot. That could be quite funny. That could be Failing good. at Godot. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, go Hopefully. check out Metabulous, like I said, and have a beautiful mm -hmm. day. Yeah, bye guys.